Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here with some new products to share with you this week. First off, we're rolling out our new SparkFun Lumini LED rings. We're offering them in 3-inch, 2-inch, and 1-inch rings with 60, 40, and 20 LEDs, respectively. Which LEDs, you might ask? Well, we're using the AP102s on these. But they're not the 5mm AP102s you may be used to on your RGB LED strips. No, we're using the smaller AP102 2020s. At just 2mm by 2mm, we can pack a whole lot of luminance into a very small space. We have solder pads for 5V, ground, data in and out, and clock in and out. That's right, in and out means that these rings can be daisy chained together. Of course, when you start getting up into higher numbers of LEDs, you may need to add a decoupling capacitor between power and ground. No worries there, as we've added a small pair of solder pads to allow you to add a capacitor right on the back of the board. Finally, we've added 8 mounting points on the two larger rings, while the 1-inch ring has 4 mounting points. And they can be broken off if your design requires it. Now I know that many of you want to be able to harness the power of Python to control your LEDs. Well, we heard you, and that's why we're also releasing the SparkFun LumaDrive LED driver. This board is equipped with a SAMD 21 gau which will allow you to run Python, MicroPython, CircuitPython, whatever your Python of choice is. It has a USB-C connector, which can supply up to 1.5 amps from a 3.1 USB port, a LiPo connector and charge circuit for portable power, as well as two poke home connectors to allow you to plug in wires without the need for solder. And we've also broken out a few analog and digital pins, so you can incorporate whatever input device your project needs to control your AP102 LEDs. Getting this board running is pretty simple. Plug it into one of your 3.1 USB ports, and it will open up just like a USB drive. You can write code for it in a text editor, name it code.txt or .py or main.txt or .py, and drop that file into the folder. The Luma drive will recognize it and execute it. It's just that simple. Of course, since we now have the power of Python, you don't have to keep it that simple. With the Luma Drive and Lumini rings, you can create some great effects. Portal anyone? Blah blah. I think you want portals. Blah blah. Rob. Sorry, Chris. With all it has going for it, the SparkFun Luma Drive LED driver should wind up being your go-to LED driver board. And it really makes a nice smooth transition from people who are used to working solely in Arduino but want to start getting into MicroPython. Combine that with the Lumini LED rings and it opens up a whole new world of project possibilities for you. Check them out at sparkfun.com and happy hacking! The SparkFun... what's it called? The Lumini... <laughs> Boy, I wrote that wrong, sorry, typo. 20 LEDs respectively. Ah, so close. Lumini LED circles, rings. So close to nothing. <laughs> they're circular, but they're actually rings.